Hey guys, it's Vignes from Code Android. In this video, we'll see about Firebase authentication. If you have an app where you want to add a login functionality without doing server code, then you can use Firebase authentication. To demonstrate this, I already created a project where I have designed the login and sign up activities. While launching the application, login activity will be shown to the user. I haven't added any of the code on Kotlin files. Let's see how to add Firebase authentication for this application. Before that, make sure that you have an emulator with Google Play Store. If you don't have, click on create virtual device and select the device which has Google Play icon. Download any of the recommended system image and select it. I already have an emulator, so I'm closing it. After launching your emulator, go to emulator settings and select Google Play. Make sure that you have latest version of Google Play service installed on your emulator. Let's start the Firebase integration. To do that, go to Tools and select Firebase. After that, you will see a sidebar called Assistant. We are going to use Firebase authentication, so select Authentication. Click on Email and Password authentication. Now we need to connect the app to the Firebase. So click on connect to Firebase. If you already logged in, then you will see the email ID here. Otherwise, it will open the browser for access. I am selecting the country as India and clicking on connect to Firebase. Now Android Studio will register our app on Firebase console and it will download the Google service.json file and keep it inside app folder. To add Firebase Authentication, click on Add Firebase Authentication to our app. This will add Google service on our project level Gradle file. Also in app level Gradle file, Google service and Firebase auth will be added. So click on Accept Changes. Now your project will be rebuilded. Here all the codes are given in Java but we are using Kotlin. To get the Kotlin code, go to Google and search for Firebase Authentication. Open the first link. We want to do email and password authentication, so select Android here. We have added the dependencies, so we can skip this. To get Kotlin code, click on Kotlin Android. We want this Firebase Authentication object as a global variable, so I am pasting it above on create method. Let's import Firebase auth as well. We need to initialize this auth object inside onCreate, so I'm pasting it here. To know whether the user is already signed in or not, adding this inside our activity. If the user is already logged in, then we will get the user details in current user. Otherwise, we will get null. To handle that, I'm creating a new function called update UI inside taking nullable firebase user as a parameter. We'll handle this later. We want to allow the user to sign up using their email and password. To do that, go to firebase console and select the project which you have created. Under authentication, go to sign in method. Here we need to enable email and password. Let's save the settings. In login screen, I have login button and don't have an account button. In this video, we'll see how to do sign up. So on click of this button, we want to go to sign up page. So setting on click listener for BTN sign up inside starting sign up activity using intent. After starting next activity, killing the current activity by calling finish method. In sign up activity also, we need Firebase auth. So, adding authentication object and initializing it inside on create. When we click on this sign up button, we need to validate the email and password. If both are valid, then we need to create the user account. So, setting on click listener for btn sign up. If username is empty, then setting the error message as please enter email and requesting the focus for username. If the entered email is not a valid email, then setting the error message as please enter valid email. 
If the password is empty, then setting the error as please enter password. I'm moving these codes inside a function called signupuser and calling it inside the button click. If any error is occurred, we need to stop the execution there. So I'm calling return on every failure case. If no error has occurred, then we need to register the user. To create the user, we need to use create user with email and password function. So I'm copying the code and pasting it here. For email, we need to pass tv username text. For password, we need to give tv password text. If the user is created, then task.is successful will return true. In this case, I'm going to log in activity and killing the current activity by calling finish method. Otherwise, showing the toast as sign up failed, try again after some time. The reason can be user is already exist or network failure. That's why I'm adding try again after some time. Let's run the application. You can see our app is crashing and we are able to see the crash messages call firebase app dot initialize app. If you are getting this error, then go to your project level gradle file and update google service dependency to the latest version. Changes I am doing in app level gradle file is an optional one. Now we'll launch the application. You can see now the app is not crashing. Click on don't have account. Let's sign up with our email address. Also we'll give our secure password 123456. Click on sign up. You can see it's going back to login page, which means the user account is created successfully. To confirm that, go to your Firebase console and open users tab. There you will see the registered user's email address. In next tutorial, we'll see how to log in and verify the user using Firebase. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you want to support me, you can do that by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash codeandroid. Hope you like it. I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day.